Anyone with even the tiniest of chip making knowledge knows how crucial a lithography machine is, its importance cannot be overstated. When it comes to any conversation about EUV lithography machines, the name SML always pops up. Why? Because they're the only ones that can produce this kind of equipment, anywhere in the globe. Could they finally have found a way to bypass EUV to make their own chip technology which could completely solve their high-end chip troubles? In this video, we'll be talking all about the recent developments and providing answers to these burning questions. Keep watching! Semiconductors are crucial in our everyday life and it's hard to believe only a handful of people know this. Due to that, they have quickly become a strong focus of the technologically induced battle between the United States of America and China. We all know China is the second largest economy in the world, right? For years, they have been investing loads and loads of resources to boost their very own domestic chip industry but sadly, to no avail. They have constantly been playing catch up with their technological rivals like the United States of America and, even more shockingly, some other parts of Asia too. For many countries, semiconductors are seen as the focal point for national security and a sign of technological dexterity, and of course, China can't stand being behind the game. It's unacceptable. And to be fair, why should they not care about it? Chips are so, so important, they can be found everywhere. From cars to laptops to personal computers, gaming consoles, and phones, it's everywhere. Hey, it can even be found in home appliances like washing machines, television sets, and modern refrigerators. In order to make chips, you'd need a lithography machine, especially if it's of the high-end models due to their higher fabrication process. China has always been gifted with powerful chip design capabilities, but they need to rely on other countries for lithography machines for chip manufacturing. Dutch-based ASML is already restricted by the United States of America, which basically ties their hands from being able to dish out those all-important lithography machines to China, which, we can all agree, results in restrictions on chip manufacturing in China, just like a domino effect. So, do you see why China's ability to develop its own chip manufacturing technology that doesn't even require an EUV machine is such a big changer? ASML has always been confident in being the king's and only heir in line for the throne as far as chip making is concerned. As a matter of fact, an executive of ASML once said even if they give their drawings to China to make their own EUV lithography machine for high-end chip making, they still wouldn't be able to. To be fair, was he actually joking or perhaps even bluffing? We don't think so, and here's why. The reality of the matter is that lithography machines are absolutely the most expensive parts of semiconductor manufacturing equipment, accounting anywhere between a fourth or, hey, even a third of the entire cost. Another thing that must be stated is how important it is to have a strong supply chain. Yes, the production of lithography machines largely depends on the vital technologies available, but also, they require a supply chain which, of course, is ASML themselves. So many questions are on everyone's lips at the moment, and one of them, in particular, is if China may actually be able to follow the blueprint of ASML's success. A simple answer to that question is no, point blank. Everyone already knows how ASML became great, so it would be insanely unoriginal for China to copy the prototype, if it could even be copied. However, one thing that has to be understood is that the times are certainly ever-changing. The same goes for EUV lithography machines as well. We all witnessed what happened to Huawei, didn't we? They were such a hit, at the peak of their powers, competing with the best smartphones other companies had to offer, and then, they became suppressed. After that happened, many countries began to understand just how crucial core technologies and independent research and development were. Did you know that was probably even the sole, or at the very least, the most important reason why Japan, Russia, and South Korea were joined by most of the technologically inclined nations of Europe to take it upon themselves to journey upon the perilous journey of making their own independent R&D of lithography machines. Alas, here comes the dark trotting horse, which could actually run through ASML's monopoly in the high-end semiconductor market. Guys, you see, something exhilarating is on the way. Recently, there has been explosive news that Kyoxia, the Japanese company, has now been able to produce a shiny new way of producing semiconductors that, hear this, actually don't even need an EUV at all. Also, it's said that it can bypass the need for an EUV by using other methods to make high-end products like 7 nanometer chips and even 5 nanometer chips. If we are to believe the reports, this new nano-imprint lithography technology actually began its development in 2017 and has been able to achieve mass production of 15 nanometer chips. The goal is also to continue developing processes below 15 nanometer and even make it down to 5 nanometer, a plan they hope to achieve in 2025. Things are getting even more interesting. 
if the feasibility of this new technology can be actualized, it could completely rewrite the development and direction of the entire chip industry. And why could that be? Well, it's easy, given how this new process could bypass the UV lithography machine to make 5 nanometer chips, it ultimately means that even without ASML's EUV lithography machine, high-end chips can still be manufactured. Thanks to NIL. Are you wondering how the NIL technology would be able to impact even ASML's current standings and basically the chip industry for manufacturing at large? For starters, ASML is the only producer capable of making chips of 7 nanometers or even 5 nanometers precision lithography machines, globally. That's the chief reason why they currently hold around 80% of the global high-end lithography market below 45 nanometer. If ASML no longer becomes the exclusive manufacturer of such chips, it will lose its grip on the market. If NEL succeeds, it could severely impact the company, which would almost immediately cripple the monopoly ASML has on EUV lithography machines. Do you remember the issues in production equipment cost we talked about? Compared to EUV technology, NIL can reduce the huge energy consumption at the moment, and it doesn't even stop there, the cost for production equipment. An EUV lithography machine fetches a sum to the tune of 120 million US dollars, and NIL can greater reduce equipment investment costs by a staggering 40% and power consumption by 10%. Who actually wouldn't want that? Also, the degree of precision of NIL circuits is mighty impressive. It's said to be comparable to that of 5 nanometer, which reaches almost the same precision degree we can see in ASML's EUVs. Given how so many nations are constantly investing in the R&D sectors of making semiconductors, it may even replace EUV lithography technology to achieve mass production in the future. It's almost like a waiting game now, but still, sooner or later, surely the rapid interest in research and development would bring forth fruits, don't you think? In addition, China's lithography machine tech has reached the mid-level. This mid-range machine is soon expected to be produced on a large scale, meaning they've mastered the key requirements for such a machine. According to reports, China is looking into high-end technology too. The first domestic high-energy synchrotron radiation light source equipment researched by the Chinese Academy of Sciences has been installed, which can bring forth high-end chips. Did you know Tsinghua University has also completed the new particle accelerator light source, stable micro bunch and the good news is the most direct application of this light source is in the future of EUV lithography machines. Recently, China's Chip Union Tech announced a 3D 4F DRAM architecture tech and based on HITOC technology, which can be used to make chips without requiring an E0UV machine. It will be used for the production of DRAM chips. For China's chip manufacturing development, this is really huge. If the feasibility becomes actualized, China will no longer be restricted by lithography machines. If China really does keep on advancing, who knows? They may be able to make their own machine. We mean, historically, China has a proven track record of coming up clutch in high-pressure situations. They always seem to be able to play the catch-up game well and grow from being backward in many areas to be the front runners. It was great to have you here again. We're sure you enjoyed this video, so why don't you smash a like and comment on it as well. Subscribe and turn on notifications to experience our other videos. See you there.